I have downloaded and destroyed over 1,000 ragdolls, and you're about to watch some of that. Ooh, Melon Playgrounds got some, what is that thing? Got some new mods. We got Huggy, got that crazy thing, Alien, whatever the what? face, oh my, what is that thing? We got Faces, Myers, okay, with that thing. Mommy Long, look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness, Headless Right. Oh, it's a Halloween update for sure. Skeleton, Witch, SCP stuff. Look at all this. This is insane. I might have to make two videos on this maybe. I've downloaded everything. Look, there's a cactus guy. Wait, what the heck? Where'd you come from, Mr. Cactus Guy? You need to uh, you need to have some problems. Cause you are facing uh, the alien. <laughs> Look at him. Can he move? Oh, he totally can. Let him say hi. Let him infect you. Can an alien infect a cactus thing? I don't know. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Oh, look at his little... His little fruits popped off his head. You hungry, little alien? There you go. I don't like how alien is like one color. It's just like really weird green color. And what is this black dot? Just a normal guy going for a walk until... Oh my, what is that thing? Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh look, he's absolutely terrified. What is this creature? Ooh, he's got eyes all over him. Big gangly hands. Let me touch your face with them. Then I don't even know what you call you'd call these things. Are they supposed to be legs? I thought he could. Uh, oh, jeez, we're getting melon juices everywhere. He's somehow able. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, this uh, had a problem. Don't worry, the watermelon boy is totally fine. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Melon thing? We're gonna check that out at the end of the video. Oh, look, it's Huggy. He's very tall. His legs work. He's hairy like he should be. And he's got a fist. But you like that? How do you like that? Those apples, Huggy? Not too terrifying. Boom! Oh, no! Something happened to Apple Man. I think he's still alive. Sort of. But, uh, oh, Huggy, don't sit on him. Don't need to rub it in. How about a butt bomb? Oh no! Huggy! <laughs> um, Huggy's having problems. Oh, here's Mommy Long Legs. Didn't she look like she had crazier, like a crazier body going on in this? I think so. Let me look. Oh, she's just all crazy, scraggly, stand, sitting there. She does have the big old, like, you know, hip. Look at, it. Look at me dance. Watch me dance, Huggy. Whoa! Look at the headless rider. Normally, Pumpkin here would be terrified of the headless rider, but Pumpkin has a secret weapon. <laughs> Look at this. It's called the ghost gun. Let's see what it does, shall we? Don't go anywhere, headless boy. We gotta find out. What the? Did you hear that? <laughs> That's hilarious. What? He just got utterly obliterated what is this weapon michael myers normally it'd be terrified but not with the ghost gun let's start with the legs oh no corn just destroyed himself get out of here we don't need you anyway dude how did he again do that it completely disintegrates his legs all that's left are little bones <laughs> what the heck okay let's try it again maybe we're gonna do the whole body you totally can! What in the- This is the most powerful gun in the game. Oh man, the Pumpkin King is amazing. <laughs> Look at his big purple suit. He's going to church right now. Look at this big crazy arm thing. What is- I think there's supposed to be like a branch or something. He's literally in pajamas or something. Or like a, a track suit. <laughs> Let's see if- Ooh, it has a point on it. Can it, like, actually skewer the, the watermelon? Oh, I don't think so. What if we try like this? Let's freeze the game. Let's freeze that spot. And then let's take watermelon's head and go, nope. Uh -huh. uh, nope. How about as far as we can? Oh, no! Watermelon, what happened? Dude, what is the pumpkin king? He's okay. He's just like a giant jack-o'-lantern, and then a interesting body. I do like the little, you know, hand things. 
Hey, you're pretty cool. You know what's worse than a giant jack-o'-lantern pumpkin insane thing? Uh, that thing with a gigantic battle axe. <laughs> hey, cactus, I got something for you. How about that? And we chop you up into pieces and we eat you for dinner. People eat cactuses. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't really know that, but people do eat cactuses. Certain cactuses, like prickly pears or whatever. I knew Baloo does. Do you know the song? Ha <laughs> ha, you better. Oh no! The cactus's head fell off. That's never a good thing. Uh, he doesn't know how to really hold the axe. I'll help you. That's This is how you do it. Right here. You do it like this. This is the way. Now we got pumpkins. So, jack o -Lan Oh, he just... Do you see him burst? Oh, it's a dark trooper. You know what makes a dark trooper not as scary? <laughs> when he's carrying a big honey bee gun. Look at... How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is this scene? We got a, we got a dark trooper over here who's very terrifying. to do a lot of damage, and then he's got a bee gun. Yeah, yeah, it seems about right. Ooh, the bees like the corn. Oh, he's still alive somehow? Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know you could survive that many <coughs> bees. Yeah. Ter oh, we can hold it down? We're gonna make popcorn here in a second. Uh, uh, it didn't work, but we can, I think. Can we ignite him? Where is it? Ignite. Let us make popcorn. Could I have done this before to make popcorn? Ah, oh, totally could. Making a popcorn. I'm hungry. Dark Trooper likes him. Uh, barely any popcorn. You burnt it. You like it burnt though, don't you, you sick weirdo? It's time. We need the melon. Oh. Uh, what? What the heck? What happened to him? He just. Yo, what is occurring? Why is he turning into a skeleton? Okay, he's fine. Now, Mel Melon, you need to see what happens when you get mutated. Here it is. Melon thing. Oh. Oh my. Look at it. What the heck is this nightmare? Ha, <laughs> Melon. Look. Something happened to you. Oh, he's got crazy, like, claw things. He's got whatever this dude. He's been infected by alien alien just bursting out of him over here. Then he's got this crazy it's Like a crocodile head Dude, Are these official are these official mods from the dev or from people if they're from people and somebody made these things It's kind of amazing. Okay, dude. Oh Dude, what the heck you can't can't skewer dude with that thing. How about his foot? Nope, his foot just broke clean off. How about his head? Let's try his with his head. We're gonna eat him. He's eating him. He's eating him. Yeah, yeah, devour him. Okay, you can't, can't even eat him either. But he is. <laughs> you can't, you can't do it. Maybe if we freeze it. Does he like infect the game? He made apple melon. Okay, he, just a melon guy for some reason. Doesn't like his like old self or whatever. Okay, so first of all, here's what we need to do. We need to get this guy in pos, pos <laughs> get this guy in a position there. Yeah, this doesn't look weird or anything. <laughs> yeah, nice job, dude. <laughs> yes, the uh, position has been assumed. Now it's time for pumpkin head smashing. Oh no, you missed. Try it again. Oh jeez. Okay, try. We we're going for the head. Oh no. Oh, he won't. He won't get in. Get in there. How about an arm? Let's try. Actually, a leg. There you go. Foot time. Okay. Nope. Can't get a foot in there. How about we try it one more time? Nope. It won't work. But that's pretty entertaining though to just kind of bust things around like that. What the heck? We broke the game. Yep. We got watermelon juice just kind of dripping everywhere. I think that was a pretty satisfying event. Why? I don't understand this thing. Why he turned into a skeleton, but he did. Uh, and it's weird. Okay, that's... This is about how I feel right now. Just confused and alone and completely skinless. It's a story as old as time itself. Guy grows up, guy gets a job, guy finds a girl, they get married, they get eaten by giant beasts. What? Look at how this thing... It actually moves incredibly well. I'm not entirely sure how it does. I, oh, I see. It's got mechanical leg things up there. I don't know if I've ever seen 
something like this before. Oh, he kind of does this when you stop the battle. Oh, it's better. All he needs is a block. Whoa. What is this thing from? I've seen something like this before. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he definitely got eaten. That's for sure. There's going to be a lot of eating going on in today's video. To build spikes at his feet and allows it to walk like this. This is... This is actually absolutely incredible. My next experiment, 50 pigs fight off against a brand new thing that I've never seen before. Check this out. Some kind of crazy flying bot thing that's pretty amazing looking. He's got big old spiky hand things. Does he come down? You need to come and get these pigs. Oh yeah, he's down. He's got lasers. He's got like MG things. Big old spiky clamp hand claw things. Is there somebody in there? I think you could put a person. Wait, can you put a person in there? Aw, oh, you can't, but at least it. Okay, um. Not supposed to do that. But yeah, look at it. I don't like that it has the little wings, but it's okay. It's a really cool looking machine thing. Definitely different from any flying bots I've seen. I like it. The little extendable claw spiky things are very ineffective but that's okay not sure if you know this but this is how i get my bacon i have a big machine that just destroys hundreds of pigs all the time yeah what is this oh man some kind of terrifying it looks like an like a cat mixed with an alien mixed with some kind of weird monster thing maybe you're like dude i don't even know what you see or what you're talking you need to eat them you can't just do this you put them in your mouth holes. Eat them. <laughs> mouth holes. Just one. You only need. There's only one hole that is in a mouth. That makes sense. Speaking of cats, I got them. Lots of cats. Big old cats. And this cat right here. <laughs> it's cartoon cat, uh, but way more intense. Something happened. He's walking all weird. He doesn't have the slender body he once had. He's a big beefy boy now. And he's got those huge, look at those huge claws. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Did, oh, did he just suplex that cat? I think he did. He picked them up and suplexed them. Give a nice uh, pile driver right there. It's all, oh, that cat is flying through the air. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a tiger. He's all curled up. I believe I can die. Thought this next thing was tiny, but it turns out it's some kind of gigantic beast riding. Uh, I should say it's cameraman, Titan man thing riding on a beast. I don't know what. It's a speaker T-Rex or something. This is kind of cool. He's riding. Look at him riding on that. And this is a kind of a cool pose too. This is actually pretty amazing to see. Oh, that laser. Man, that thing is massive. What a cool looking build. And then he actually moves and stuff. I mean, this is a really unique, unique designed creature here. Not many uh, times we've seen something like this. Or I don't know if I've ever seen a gigantic guy riding on something. Not this well. I mean, this is pretty, pretty impressive work here. Pretty amazing to say the least. It's pretty impressive. But can he defeat this thing? Oh my goodness. I don't think that this is made by Unirite. This might be made by somebody else, but it kind of looks like that. Maybe it is. I don't know. It has a very familiar look to it, but can he defeat this thing? Let's find out. Does he have a laser? Oh, it's got a laser. All right. It's like the freaking epic scene from Harry Potter with Harry and Voldemort fighting with their one. <laughs> Man. Uh, just got obliterated and he's barely been touched. That thing is on a whole other level. And he's he might as well be. He's about the same size as this entire one. What's this guy looking at? What? Look at what's he? What are you looking at? What are they all looking at over there? There's nothing over there, you weirdos. Don't look at that direction. What's this thing? Look at this massive beast. Some kind of colossal, compact, heavy-duty looking rhino dinosaur thing. It's freaking sweet looking, actually. What does he have in there? Oh, is that that? Is that a helmet or something? He looks amazing. I like this thing. He's got big old club fists. And he look at the way his little feet in the back. He's not even walking on anything. He's walking on air. 
This big old club hand's doing all the work. He's got a flamethrower, which I don't even know why you need that. He's definitely dangerous and able to do all kinds of things. Bye, buddy. Hope you have a nice trip. <laughs> Over the edge. And, he, and he's... You know what? Have we ever seen anything, like, breathe out fire out of its rear end? Like, explosive fart-wise? I don't think I've seen that. Have anybody seen that? Underwater seafaring hippos. I want you to meet the dark kraken oh man this is the dark kraken from the depths below with its gigantic uh, bioluminescent light bulb eye things and uh, he's pretty much i mean he's just a squid he's a big squid with big old lights and stuff on him and all black oh and a laser He's got a laser too. I don't really like the way the aquatic stuff work in this game because it like doesn't work half the time, you know? Like it just derps out like it is right now. It's all derpy. There's the, oh, it's got a la Eat him, you can't even eat him. He's got the laser covering his little beak thingy in there. Biko, not able to eat Oh, We need to, but he is destroying the hippos at least. He's just kind of weird. But I think it's just because of the aquatic nature of them. They don't really work well. Just because I want to see another creature eat some things, here's a whole bunch of guys with spears and stuff fighting off against this gigantic SCP snake thing. Oh yeah. Let's watch him. And, oh, never mind. Doesn't need eat him. Just breathe his lasers. Oh, and they're freaking out too. He's not. Dude, I wish that he would eat him. Eat the guys. The first thing ate things perfectly. These, this, these ones... They're not doing much. Look at it, it's derping out. Look at his little crocodile legs. Little tiny baby legs down there doing all they're doing. Well, that was not what I wanted. Oh my, can you imagine what would this would feel like? Jeez, and then this, here's this guy right here. He's, a, he's, he's totally fine. There's this guy right here doing the splits. Bodies aren't supposed to bend like this. This guy somehow is stuck in the earth. This guy's a sandwich. All in all, a pretty successful battle, I think. Now is the time all the children and grandmothers wait for. <laughs> where we battle everything against each other. We've got this awesome looking... Th what is this from? Thing. We got this guy. This thing. The snake boy. We got the Titan TV man, cameraman riding on the speaker T-Rex. This thing. These guys are on a team. It'll be interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen. Someone's going to get popped, though, right away. And the one popped right away was the cartoon cat. Cartoon cat, it's no more. Oh, and also looks like... I don't need, oh, the little green machine thing over there. He's gone. Several things somehow are lasting. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What the heck? Look at this thing. Lost an arm. How is it even possible? But somehow it did. He's even, he doesn't have a laser, I don't think. How are the... Okay, oh, that thing's gone. Maybe he does have a laser. Oh, the snake's hitting that little spider thing in the butt. Oh, uh, there goes something big. I think it was a Kraken. The Kraken's gone. Is the Titan cameraman thing going to be the winner? Or will it be the... I don't know, crazy spider thing. What is... I can't even think right now. I know I've seen that thing. I know it's very popular, and I don't know why I can't think of it. It's like a big, giant boss thing. Oh, it won! No way! I'm so glad it did! So sweet! No, it's still fighting something, though. What's it fighting? Oh, the snake! Still fighting the snake! I will think about it. I know I've seen this thing even... Is it Star Wars? No. Yeah, it is Star Wars, isn't it? I think it's a Star Wars thing. Yeah, it's the Arena Beast. I knew I've seen this thing before. What's worse than being alone late at night in a dark and dreary swamp? How about AI monsters that hunt you down in that swamp? This is me. And this is the gigantic predator that's currently hunting me. But before we get there, let me tell you about how I got here. You see, it all started one late night when I got lost and I found myself wandering through a dark and dreary swamp. It's all kinds of manner of hideous creatures and bones of their uh, gigantic corpses. And then it happened. I heard a noise and behind me was a 
gigantic, devastating looking bug thing. Needless to say, I ran for my life and that's how I wound up at the lake. I found myself face to face with all manner of weird creatures. Good thing is, I found this nice weapon, and it uses some kind of pink void power to attack all the little bug things that I find. It's pretty effective. That was fine and all until I came across these gigantic mole creatures, and my weapon didn't seem to really do much against them. Ha <laughs> ha, luckily for me though, there were other bigger creatures that wanted to eat them. Oh, it turns out there were other creatures in the uh, ocean thing that wanted to uh, eat them and destroy them and as you can see they were very successful at doing so and as I sat there and watched that's when it happened one of them attacked me and uh, this is what occurred <laughs> I got eaten! Oh no, there's my head actually, look at it, flying around. Well, that was uh, a delightful experience. Welcome to the Abyssal Mega Pack. Now featuring AI monsters that will hunt you down and also fight each other. Here, Here's my, my brother. He's on a little raft in the middle of the ocean. And as you can see, there's a nice shark that's trying to uh, devour him. Oh! He lost the leg. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, body. is. Where's that thing going? Well, I, I don't exactly know uh, what is happening, but it is gone. Oh, yeah, just cruising along on a little boat, cooking up some fish and stuff. Uh, and let's just see that that shark... It's just the baby. Hey, do you see anything up there, McMillan? An answer, just a lot of water. Can to explain that giant alien squid that's flying around? Yeah, I might have missed that one. Our captain, he seems to be a little peaceful, not really attacking anything. And what of the giant abyssal whale? I believe that one's peaceful too, sir. What about the giant dog nose one that's swimming right at our boat? Uh, yeah, sir. I don't think that that one's, uh, friendly. Oh, no! We lost Johnson! Johnson! Oh, McMillan! Who's that? I don't remember who's who anymore. Everyone's about to be eaten. Run for your life! That's the problem in the ocean. There's nowhere to run. And you can't go for a swim where gigantic abyssal sea monster things will try to eat your face. Oh, my gosh. The boat's being destroyed. He's eating the wood. Oh, oh, no! He ate him. He's he's just straight. All that's left is his little. Oh my gosh! What happened? He destroyed the entire boat. And that's the moment we realized we had totally messed up. We went from like literally not too crazy to like insane in a matter of seconds. Are these his eyeballs? Air pass. <laughs> this guy's standing on his head. Uh, you guys. I'm sorry to say we're about to see what happens when the gigantic dog knows the vibe. I think, think, oh man, everyone just gets eaten immediately. <gasps> Can we mutate the Leviathan thing and make it even more crazy? I bet we can. Oh gosh he's just eating everybody oh no that is horrible there's other creatures in the ocean too even bigger than he is but before you see that i've got a special surprise for you i actually don't know what's gonna happen right now we've got one of the mutation syringes uh i need to somehow like get it and maybe try to shove it in his head i don't even know what just happened I can't, I can't put it in anything. I think we might need the tube thing. Okay, here we go. It's time for a test. Oh, it worked. <laughs> I have created the ultimate monster. Uh, yeah, so this is the abyssal dog shark thing. And uh, as you can tell, he is now even more of a serpent than he already was. Oh my. Wait, how long is this thing? Oh. Whoa! Look at this thing! It's insane! This is probably the most insane creature we've made so far. Is this AI enabled? Look, what we gotta do is go down here. Okay, AI is enabled. Let's see if he'll actually swim. Okay, we got some people in the water down here, so he should be able to... He should go after him. Let's see what happens. Drag it. He, it's like he's broken, though. He won't actually swim. He's just kind of stuck. His body is, like, motionless and, like... Not even able to move. Go after that. Will you go after him? Get him. 
Nah, he's, he's totally broken. Like I said, there's even bigger ones. Doesn't matter how uh, safe you are on a raft, because it's only a matter of time before even bigger seas. Oh my gosh, here he comes. Comes for you to eat your brains. Look at this gigantic sea serpent thing. It's what it's called. It's called the sea serpent. And it's way more into... Oh no, it's way bigger than the other one. Ah! What's happening? No, it's sinking the boat. Oh, that guy. Oh, he just ate everything. Wow. Uh, yeah, so they're all they're all gone. And you know what the cool thing is about this mod? Uh, they can fight each other. I think it's probably safe to say we know who's going to win this fight. But this is the shark versus the dog nose. Maybe the shark will pull it out. He is? Oh, no. Nope, <laughs> never mind. He was instantly eaten. What the heck? I can't enable the AI on the whale. Maybe the whale will eat him. Nope. <laughs> he's, he's dead as well. Oh, jeez. That thing is just destroying everything. But who wins between the serpent and the dog nose one? Uh, the serpent's definitely very bad. Oh, it's, it's locked on. It's locked on. Is he coming down? Oh, he's coming down. Oh, here we go. The battle of the ages. The serpent versus the dog nose. Who will be victorious? Is whoever's teeth touch the first. That's what it's going to be. Wow, the dog nose mouth one is so much bigger. Oh, the sea serpent's backing up. Oh, is he? Is he? Oh, no, he's going to get his body's getting eaten. Oh, oh, oh. He straight up had him for a second. Who won? The do they look like they're both dead. Did they? It was a trade-off. They must fight again. We must find out who is the victorious one. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, I feel like the dog knows one will win because his mouth is so much bigger. But I've been wrong before, dude. What is occurring right now? They're just kind of pushing each other. Reset. There we go. Oh, oh. Eh, eh. Who's gonna win? Come on, somebody do something. They're both just like hanging out, dude. Did the dog nose one lose somehow? Wait, how did he lose? Oh, <laughs> he just ate his body. Like, what the heck even happened? Well, it looks like the serpent uh, won. And look at him just devouring his body. It's like a big game of Slither IO. Well, it's safe to say that this is probably one of the coolest mods I've seen in a while. And before, you know what? Before we go, before we do anything else, we need to find out what happens when the serpent grows up different body parts so let's go ahead and grab this little syringe grab our liquid <laughs> and grab this thing merge him there we go here we go once we resume crazy things should happen and you boom anything do i need to do it to his face maybe oh no he's growing limbs oh he's growing different things oh oh look at him he's getting bigger and bigger Will he grow more heads? Or just limbs? Is he, oh, he's growing new tentacles and stuff. Like whole on bodies. Body parts. Bo like parts of his body. Oh my goodness. He's definitely not uh, doing what he what we'd like him to do. I want more heads. But it's pretty cool. He's got all these different like tentacle body parts. Look at this. He's got a whole bunch of them now. One. How many does he have? Two. Three. Four. He's got five of them. He's like a big gigantic like Kraken monster. He's turned into something even more amazing. Look at him. He's awesome. Today we discover something that I've never seen before. We discover the largest creatures to ever exist in this game and I save the best for last. This is is the skinwalker oh man you know the skinwalker terrifying looking creature he's actually pretty amazing looking. does he move oh yeah there he goes <laughs> you better look up can we open does his mouth open up can he eat your face oh no his mouth doesn't open but you know what he's got these huge claw thingies that could totally like crush them oh we got some juices flowing already things are very violent in this game it gets very violent quickly can we can, what about these spike things on his back 
Oh, he just kind of went through him. He's riding him. This kind of interesting. Yeah, there you go. You want to take him? You want to take him away? He's taking him back to his lair. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna trample him. Please have mercy. Look at this. Just think. Oh, that's just not. That's not right. There's, we got lots of problems. You know what's worse than a normal crab? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a freaking lava crab that can eat your head. Oh, here he is. Look at him. He's apparently he's all sparkly and shiny. He's, he can apparently he can eat heads and. Uh, we gotta discover how 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 you how do you make that how do you make that happen? Oh wait wait what the heck you can make I can make him walk. Look at him. Whoa he's gonna crush him. Yeah uh, oh he's freaking out. Uh, how do I get his head to eat him though? I thought at first they were like pistons and you could like put it in there and then he'd like you know move his mouth closed but. I don't actually think they're pistons. Wait, are they? What are they? What are these? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we can just feed them to him. There we go. Oh, yeah. You happy? Are you happy now? What the heck? This thing might be my favorite one. Here it is. Look at his, his legs and stuff. It's pretty amazing. But check this thing out. Oh, my. It's an apple bug. Some kind of apple monster. Look at his mouth. is actually moving and stuff. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Come here. Come on up here. Oh, he's got like even like a little lip thing right there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to eat him. Oh, look at him. He's, he's literally trying to devour him right now. That is freaking sweet. If I do it like this, open up. Here he comes. Oh, we missed him. Let's try it again. And you. There you go. Down the apple gullet you go. His head is too his head is too heavy for him. He keeps like impaling him with like this little tiny weird apple core spike thingy here. This thing's a like, really cool. This is a really cool creation. There you go. Now close it on him. There you go. Munch him up. Yum yum yum. Oh yeah, that that seemed to work. You walk on him too. Yum. Step on him. Shum. Oh, he's missing. Oh, there he goes. He totally got him that time. This is not a fruit game. This is beyond. This is fruit juice, actually. He's a he's some kind of melon or something. Some kind of maybe he's an apple. Yo. Oh, the apple bug is so awesome. Kind of looks like he's got coconut eyes. Oh no. Oh, this guy's life is about to be over uh, because this is the elder mimic oh man it's got like a sans face looking going on he's got these huge claw thingies oh dear come over here let me touch you in the face tell you a story about how when i was a kid i i used to eat all kinds of people every day well, villages villages full of people just for fun come here let me t come here come closer come closer to me <laughs> yeah there you go he actually you spike him oh he totally can oh i forgot how gruesome people play around is this is a, don't use it you know like the fruit games and everything they're not this bad but like this is on a whole other level over here of course it couldn't be one of these videos where we're talking about something giant unless we included one of our most favorite and amazing giant creatures. It's your boy, Siren Head. Oh, yeah. It's actually one of the best looking Siren Heads I think I've seen in this game. Now, does he actually activate, though? What the? He's shooting something from his face. Okay. Oh, there he goes. The only problem is I don't know how, I'm, I don't know how to shut him off. He's probably just going to keep buzzing this whole time. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. Let's see how tall he actually is because he's kind of hunched over a little bit. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine this? You imagine this? You imagine this? Oh my gosh. Look out down there. <laughs> You're about to get your fingers, gangly fingers, right through your head with the sound head thing going. Oh, he's picking him up. Yeah. He's raising him up to his face. Oh, he was going to activate for a second, but he forgot. You know, it's interesting. For some reason, I can't freeze his, his body. So I just freeze this, freeze the guy right there. We're going to bring him closer. Here we go. Ready? And oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what that stinking Sonic Blast is, but clearly Sonic, uh, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Head, Siren Head is eating, is about to eat him. Now, this is where we start getting into some really big ones. I'm sure you've heard of Skibbity Toilet. I'm sure you've heard of the cameraman, the TV man. But have you ever heard of the TV demon? <laughs> Look at him. He's got a mouth and everything. He's awesome looking. He's, he's probably about the same size as Siren Head, actually. But that mouth, yeah, he could totally eat. Can you turn this TV on? Oh, hello? Oh, whoa. I didn't even know that that happened. Okay. Well, okay. We get, we're not going to watch that. I want to see if he can eat this guy. 
Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Oh, he can totally eat him. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That was brutal. Okay. The guy's clearly got some problems. He's, uh, he, no, he's okay. He's totally fine. Look at these long Wendigo arms over here. He can totally, he can totally use these, though, to shum, give him a little, little suture. Little, you know, he's performing surgery. Let's just put it that way. He's, uh, he's got a slice up his uh his food before he eats it what the heck is in so look at him he's dancing yeah get get it already let's see he plays the tv and he just starts dancing hmm oh i thought for a second that he lost his head he didn't lose his head yet look at all look at that reach wow he's he can reach really far the crush oh oh geez oh okay he's all right he's he's okay don't worry about him just a bunch of people minding their ordinary daily life in their house sitting at tables <laughs> and sleeping in beds <laughs> and you know i don't know looking at their collection of liquids all of a sudden, some kind of gigantic siren starts going off. That's because there is a very colossal creature on his way to destroy this facility. Oh, Project Titan, look at this giant thing. Oh, no. The world as they know it is about to end. And the giant titan just destroying houses left and right. Oh, look, there's a guy on his arm. That's how big this thing is. That is, that is very, very dangerous. Wait, hold on. We went into slow motion. It's off. Nope, it's back on. Stinking sirens are so loud, man. Turn it off. Thank you. Jeez. It's like got light bulbs on him and stuff. He's on. The thing is hot, red hot. Anything that touches it turns to melted people. Like, let's just see. We put this down here. Oh, yeah. He's getting sizzly. He's got a light bulb right on his butt. Oh, no. <gasps> there is one that I forgot to actually show you. That is about the same size as Siren Head. A little bit bigger. But we have to show him to you because he's actually amazing. This guy right here is the wood god. He's completely made out of wood. And he has a face and everything. There's there's his teeth right there. See him? Maybe not. That's his mouth. He can totally eat people. And he's made out of wood. Which means he probably can't, like, move that well. He can't walk as well. But, dude, he, he literally can't move at all. Can you can I pick him up? There he goes. Which uh, means, though, he has gigantic clubs for fingers and hands. And so he can totally just obliterate everything he's like a giant tree ant and then you know his big legs oh my gosh how, these things are heavy they weigh so much can't even oh he can jump okay that that definitely makes him able to do some damage but can he eat stuff like why would a tree eat people well let's find out nope he can't eat he apparently can't eat people he's actually his mouth isn't that big this is one of the largest buildings in the game and down here is siren head right he's he's fairly large but he's actually you know not that like giant now there is a creature that is uh very 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 large as you can see here's here's siren head next to him he's, he's very different in size but this one isn't even the tallest one there's one that's even taller look at these big giant like club fist he has smashing siren head like it's nothing sending him flying into the building this thing is called the lighthouse look at this light tail he's got some kind of weird creature and then here's his face does that remind you of uh anything like doors or uh freaking uh stranger things that thing for stranger things look at this gargantuan beast he's all he's made of metal so you can like totally just rip through all kinds of things. Buildings stand it, no chance in his way. He can totally destroy him easily. 
create an entire thing of rubble in seconds. And that mouth clearly is able to eat stuff. Just as a frame of reference and how big he is, here he is. And here's the little guy down here. Oh my goodness. He is very small. <laughs> here comes the mouth to eat the human. How many humans would he have to eat in order to be like satisfied? It's, you know, it's like a whale. He's got to consume like the whole ocean a day just so he can actually feel full. Although he's just like most other big things, he has a really hard time eating small things. So really, I don't know what this thing maybe eats. Maybe other monsters. The next creature is so large that he like just straight up lags the game. Like you can barely load him in. Here's the lighthouse, right? One of the coolest looking things I've seen in this game. And over here is the monolith. The monolith is gi freaking gigantic and that's his head. That is the weirdest thing I think I've seen ever. Look at the size difference. Oh my. I, I have to imagine this thing is like the largest creature, although there might be even larger. But the thing is, is that the monolith, he has some really interesting things going on. I'm going to delete this guy so as to help with like lag somewhat because really we have to have some semblance of movement so I can see this. He has these weird long tentacle arm things. Look at that. There's so many of them. I don't even know how it works. How is this even possible? And each one is independent of the other? Has like a weird war of the world's tentacle stranger things feel to it you know and then like reminds me of some kind of weird alien octopus so clearly he is uh able to do things and is he are these his feet oh no he's just like planted in the ground and he's got like weird gangly like mono tubes coming out of him and stuff i don't know what these tubes are for what is the monolith monolith is it like a it's a real creature i mean clearly he's got arms and moves and stuff but is it like I don't even I don't even know what what does he do does he suck make a black hole here and suck people in his face or where's his eyes anyway out of the, all the creatures that you saw in today's video which is your favorite this thing right here I'll just show you is probably my favorite because it's so crazy looking we're gonna find all the ways in which we can destroy ragdolls in this game does that sound like a good thing to you let's do it this is already near impossible but what he has decided to do is to go ahead and add attackers to the other side. Like, wait, is it necessary to have attackers? I mean, you gotta watch out for cars. You gotta watch out for your friends. You got- Dude, guys, this is the farthest I've ever made it. I feel very successful right now. Oh my gosh, am I about to make it to this beam right now? I, what? No. I, oh, God. Beam was literally right there you guys that look at how close I was this is the closest is this the closest anyone in all of history has gotten to crossing this stinking thing I mean oh no this is not good oh gosh oh don't even watch the other side it's not even worth it only watch one side only be concerned about one side that's all that matters that's all that matters in this game. Don't look at the other side. It only gets you killed. Just keep looking back and forth. You need two heads in this mode. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The cars are... Did he make it easier or what? Did he, did he make this easier? It seems easier. I didn't get anywhere near this last time. No, no, no. You dumb stinking things. I made it. I freaking made it. Oh my gosh, I just jumped to like level 8. I think he made it easier. <laughs> I think he made it easier for freaking noobs like me because, I mean, let's be honest here. That's a pretty darn good score in time, right? Has any, you seen any other YouTubers be that good? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, he's made everything cost a lot less. Oh, we've got everything unlocked. We got a black freaking hole. What is a black hole do oh my goodness what does it do I want to know can we blast people into the black hole we got stupid attackers okay we got attackers here let's 
Let's do it. Hello, good sirs. Come follow me. Oh, okay. We found out what the black hole does. Just kind of sucks everything into it. Not really anything uh, going on here. Just uh, dying. That's pretty much all there is to it. That's all you want right now because give it about, uh, you know, five minutes or so. And you're all going to be wishing you weren't born. So... If you want to come and try to get me right now is the time because it's not gonna it's not gonna save I'm not gonna save you later okay so the first way that we can explore uh, dying is to have other ragdolls st stampede you to death but does anyone really die in this game nope I am alive the dev also said he fixed the fans which uh, I'm assuming means that they work now. <laughs> so let us see what happens. Oh my gosh. I guess it works. <laughs> okay. So that's another way to take out some ragdolls. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's what we need to do. Let's go here and let us get some stairs. Shall we? We don't need those big ones. Can he, can I make can I make things just go where I want them to go? Do I need to like trigger them somehow or can they just make their sweet way up here to death? So if I do it like that, if I tell them there are cookies up here or something, will they come? It's cuz I've got like this this flag thing and I wonder if that means and this follow mean that they'll come to it. So if I put, for example, if I put some ragdolls here, like these guys, and I, what, what, stupid ones? Follow. Here we go. So if I put a bunch of these guys down here, let's just, let's just put a lot down, shall we? Oh, I can just hold it down even better. All right. And if we do something like this right here, basically what we want is it the rain ragdolls? Oh my gosh, they're so dumb. Come on, children. Come this way. They're literally following that flag. That's what they're doing. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. Yo, just stand still for a second, okay? I need to figure this out here. We will find out... What's ragdoll zone mean? I don't understand what th certain things mean in this game. But I want them to come to this. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, that didn't work either. Alright, after a lot of trial and error, I finally figured out how to do it. <laughs> Prepare. Behold yourself for ragdoll raining. <laughs> yes. There we go. That's what it's like to watch ragdolls get, you know, a rain of ragdolls happen in this game. Let's go over here and witness it a little closer. Oh, crap. Hold on. I messed it up. Take two. Go. Come on, children. We shall wait until they've all got on the ramp. There we go. We run over here. And we watch them all hit with like an insane f amount of force. Yeah, it was glorious. My man. My man. There's no time to be laying on the ground. We got ragdolls to destroy. What's that? What? You're a little sad about life? Things have not lived up to your expectations so far? Well, I don't know if you know this, but there's a, a cannon. Yeah, a cannon. And, uh... We're going to use that cannon to destroy lots of ragdolls, okay? I thought maybe you might like that. Also, not sure if you're aware of this, but there is you have the ability to fly, okay? So cheer up. <laughs> Life's only going to get better from here, okay? We got a lot of things we got to do, like build a gigantic staircase that rag ragdolls need to climb to come and try to kill you, okay? It's going to be good. Just wait. Even better than... Uh, even better than you thought, my man. There is uh, a lot of different types of cannons, like cubes 
or laser, okay? Or mines. <laughs> oh, ragdolls. <laughs> okay. We're going to do laser target ragdoll. Yes. Okay. We're going to put that right there. And then we're going to go down here. And we're going to go and we're going to spawn in a whole bunch of ragdolls. Okay. I think you can see where this is going. Okay. We're going to do attackers. And we're going to see if these said attackers will have the ability and the means to try to come get you. If they can make it to you. I think I put them backwards, but that's okay. And we're going to run all the way up here. It's good. Uh, I hope that they can climb these. I really do. I, it doesn't seem as though they might, they're going to be able to. Oh, yes. Hello, ragdolls. What's happening? Oh, lame. We're going to have to use mines. Are you ready for round two? An improved structure. Oh, come on. What the crap, man? What's the deal? I'm... Can I not control this thing? Oh, gosh. They're coming. Okay. Okay. This isn't as... This isn't as uh, good as I thought it was going to be. Okay. So we can't use the cannon. Now we know. We need a better cannon. That was super anticlimactic. Mines man, we're gonna do this right here. Mines manual. Okay. And then we'll just go and I think they're coming. Yeah, they're here. <laughs> yeah, this is everything we wanted, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. That's a successful means of destruction, but you know, we do have the ability to, we do have the ability to see this in action on our own. Auto shoot. Okay. Yep. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and let me get another cube in here real fast so they can't technically get to me. Okay, and <laughs> yes, 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 behold. All right, how about this? Here we go. We've got set to mines that auto target. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's very, very efficient. Oh, that one's going to get somebody. What the oh gosh, holy crap. <laughs> that worked out better than I thought it might. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we saw the we saw that. What about a bunch of cannons with laser beams on it? Multi laser beam cannon destruction over here. Alright, what do I gotta do to get you to place down properly? I can only do two? No, screw that. We're not just doing two. Yes. Yes. Oh that's lame. Oh, it's literally floating in the air. Okay, I can guess I can do anything I want over here. Let me go right there like this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> zap those things, man. Zippity zap those ragdolls. Oh, look at them, look at them. Oh, <laughs> death by a thousand lasers. Yes, yes. Look at this guy, he's so evil. Oh gosh, I zapped my head. This guy is so, he's so like wicked looking. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't he just look like a, yes, lasers, lasers. Everything I've ever wanted in life, lasers. Gosh dang it, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get it to, there we go, there we go. I'm trying to get it so that they don't hit me. But I get the lasers in full, full view. Here they come. Look at him! <laughs> it's even better because his face looks like that. Alright, that's effective, but what about ragdolls that come out of these cannons? Alright, two should be enough. <laughs> yes! Look at this! This game has got some really funny things in it. Yo, two's enough to- Oh gosh! Blech. Yeah. Yeah, death by- 100 ragdolls, you jerks! 
Right? <laughs> like they just start flinging right. Look at this happy face guy. I'm so happy just to be here. I'm oh so glad God, just to be in this place with my friends. Oh, he, he disappeared. The crap. He's gone. Yes. Okay, so, needless to say, we have uh, found a way to assure that not a single ragdoll should be able to make it through this destruction. If they do, to get to me, I will be absolutely astonished. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that they're getting through this. Oh, one got pretty far. That white guy got pretty far. Look at him going flying. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not a single one. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that you could do in this game that uh, just make it. I mean, that one got pretty far. What if we take out one side and instead we put in, hmm, I like these things. What What's a lever look like? Oh, sideways. Oh, <gasps> dude. Oh, that's not going to work. It's not enough space. Is there a small one? Upright. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case, maybe they'll make it by. Maybe they'll get close enough. We'll see. Oh, hold on. We're going to make it too hard for them. Gotta make, gotta make, gotta make sure it's a little easy. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is even better. Those are even better than the hammers. <laughs> These are the most insane Poppy Playtime creations that you're ever gonna see. Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is here, and with it comes some brand new stuff, like cat nap there's also some brand new syringes that do some brand new mutations and today we're gonna test them out against poppy playtime stuff by now i'm sure you all know of the mutations mod but maybe you didn't know that there are some new ones and they're <laughs> they look pretty insane normally i save the best mutations for last but today we're starting off with one of the best ones this right here in this vial allows us to make Huggy Wuggy into a puppet. And uh, it seems appropriate, does it not? Here we go. Oh my, what the heck? Oh, whoa, oh. Yo, what? Oh, it's, is it making, it's the puppeteer mutation. Is it making a bunch of puppets? Wait, what the heck? Wait, I can, I think I can, how do I, there's a way to make more of them, I think, technically. So it says activate its head to catch, oh. <gasps> no, I know what we need to do. We can put in other other things like Kissy Missy. <gasps> Look at that. It's just like attached to her. And now I can... Oh, <laughs> now I can totally control her. Hello, come on. Oh, she totally ripped off of one of them. But look at that. Making her dance with my puppeteer abilities. Yeah. Now if I activate his head again... What happens? Let me activate it. I think it releases her. It does. And if I and if I do it again, does it does it re does it re like grab her? Or she is she okay? She might have a problem. Okay, she's she might not she might no longer be alive. <laughs> now if I pull on, let's see. This is kind of hard. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. If I pull on one string, I'll make him stand up. Oh, did, did, did. Come here, kissy, give me a kiss. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love you, kissy. So it's a little weird to use it to say the least and i have to test this i don't know oh my gosh huggy's got problems i have a question can i make multiple things up at one time let's see no he just attached to one of them but i can definitely like make him fight his friends yeah take that i like how it turns invisible that's so cool now if i let me see i'm gonna test something purposefully destroy him boom why is, why is kissy missy sparking oh okay does it let go it actually doesn't let go even if he's not alive anymore I like that it's literally invisible. That is super cool. This mutation is a car mutation? Home! What the heck? Wait a minute. Whoa. This is beyond what I thought. The image shows a tiny little thing, not this humongous 
giant vehicle of a huggy. Wait, can we put... It looks like it has a window right there. Jeez, it, needs, it is freaking out. Let's see if we can put... Let's see if we can put a person in there. Can we put a person inside? No. Mm, he might... He might be having problems. Um, I don't think I can actually put people inside. That's okay. But let's put a bunch of people down and watch as the... As the green huggy car runs him over what the heck just happened oh my gosh where did where did it go what is even why did it just do that my goodness it just freaked out on us one second you think everything's just a-okay and the next second everything just blows up now i do have a question we can take this car mutation and let me get the uh little thingy majiggy now i wonder actually can i just can I just do this? I still don't know if I can do this. Link with conduit. Can I just do this? Yep, totally can. Totally can just do that. <laughs> um, mommy? Mommy long legs? Where'd you go? She gone. Uh, is that, is that it? Bouncing around right there? I don't think that is. I think it's a part of something. So, so I don't think I can make a metal thing? A car? it just disappeared on me mutation says activate any body any part of his body to activate it why is it just why is it just doing it on its own without me even doing anything like it just immediately gets destroyed so i wonder if i if i take mommy and i put her in the air okay like that and then i take my liquid conduit and i put it up to her okay will it uh will she be fine in the air and then what if i just delete this so she, maybe that's what caused her to fly around. No, that's that's definitely not what caused her to fly around. She's just unable to become a car. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? We're making Poppy Playtime things cars. Let's see if we can do Daisy. Daisy? I think you, Daisy is an actual living being. So maybe it'll be a little different. Yeah, there we go. It works better with the like a living thing. Whoa, the Daisy car is kind of cool looking. <laughs> This is so weird. Uh, I like it a lot. We need to put some things in her path just just because why not? Let's get a bunch of these rainbow guys because they're really cool and I like them and there we go and <laughs> It just freaks out What is uncontrollable? I freaking love it, man. All right. What else? What, what, what's another one we can do? We can do I kind of want oh, the candy cat the candy cat. I didn't know the candy cat was in this in this mod. Look at the candy cat. I'm gonna take Red Huggy, and we're about to use probably the craziest one yet. This is inspired by Rainbow. Vulture Mutation? I don't even know. I don't even know what's gonna happen. We haven't even put two mods together. We haven't even put two things together yet. We're just doing one. Wait, where are you going? Uh, maybe we need a. Maybe we need the. Maybe we need to lock him down. He's just flying away on us. Freeze, please. Okay. There we go. Just grow your wings. There you go. He is no head. Where's his head? It's gone. Uh, I'm gonna follow him, and I'm gonna unfreeze it. Oh, he's flying. Oh, look at him. Look at why? Why? Where? Are you? Where's he going? Oh, there he is. Okay. It's hard to. It's actually hard to follow this thing because he's flying around. There we go. Now, you know, I have a question. Sometimes the flying things eat people. So if we put, oh, it's a vulture, right? So if we put a guy on the ground who is maybe not living anymore, let's just see. This guy's here. Okay, we need to. Okay. It dies. It literally comes and eats him. No, it just picked him up. Where did it go? It just ate his body part. No way. I, I had my suspicions. I had my suspicions. It turns out I was right. Let's get some more guys down here. Yum. Oh, look at this. Roadkill. These are these are fruits, by the way. These aren't real people. There we go. Where are you? He's up here. Here he comes. Here he comes. It's gonna... Oh, something bad happened to him. <laughs> He's just learning how to fly. It's like the eagle spiral. Then he forgot to let go. Okay, I'm following him, and he's closer. Go ahead. Go ahead, go down there. Get him with your weird wings. There he goes. He's getting him. Oh, he picked him up, and he ate him. Oh, crazy. So, you know, 
now that we've seen what they can all do, now it's the time to mix things together and see what kind of abominations we can make because I guarantee you we can he ate his head and we can make some abominations but before we do that we gotta check out catnap catnap's here guys catnap's awesome uh unfortunately catnap is not a mod yet to create a thing but it looks cool this is one of them look at it look at his little legs oh he's like floating ah. you know what catnap does he he does some very dangerous things okay what's What's going on here? He's having, causing some issues. Well, catnap, this catnap's pretty cool, but there's another one that could be even better. Oh yeah, this catnap is on a whole other level. This one looks a little bit more legit compared to the other one. Oh yes, here it comes. Here it comes with the spiky finger toenails. Oh, he's gonna eat him? He's, nope, he's not gonna eat, oh, he ate him. He totally ate him, he just crushed him. Yum. He's like kind of going through him. It's kind of weird. That's pretty cool. I wish that I could control Cadnap with the puggy puppeteer thing, but I can't. But it's still pretty cool to kind of think about that. So let's think for a second. What mutations would work really well together? I'm thinking we do the car mutation and the giant mutation. That might make a seriously gigantic car, or it might not work at all. Because sometimes in the giant mutation, it doesn't like actually work. So let's see. Oh, it, it might be, it might be working. But the question is, will it be bigger? <gasps> but with the giant mutation, which the giant mutation, if you don't know, has the uh, uh, cannibals, which doesn't the can doesn't it make it bigger bigger when he eats things? Let's just see if this works. Eat him. Eat him. Okay, he didn't eat him. If I put him right there in his face, nope. He's just run. Okay, so this thing doesn't seem to be suffering from any problems with like actually uh, moving around and running over things. Now, what happens if we combine this one, the giraffe mutation? Where? Oh, okay, okay, but um, it worked. Um, it definitely worked. Just don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I think, I think, I think it broke. It is literally, it literally broke. There's parts of it right there. Oh, it might be, it might still be growing. It might actually grow a, a new head, maybe. It's just b flying around, you can't even see it. It's just flying around the map. This is the beauty of the mutations. You never know what you're gonna get. Now, I do think I know what will happen if we do this combination. <laughs> Wait, should we do the whale? Let's do the whale instead of the mermaid. Okay, get that crab out of here. Here's the whale one. I'm gonna use this guy because he's freaking awesome. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make a vulture we're gonna make a vulture whale because why not? Why is he so big? He just keeps growing. Okay, here's a vulture whale. Please please let me inject inject you with this. Don't don't go away. You need there. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, look at here he is over here. What the heck? He's got a, a little whale body. I'm so confused right now. Oh no, he's giant. He's actually still very big. Um, he's a whale vulture. Now the question is, will he go after people who have fallen to their demise? Let me bring him down real fast. Okay, there you go. Here, here comes a guy. Are you, will you eat him? <laughs> no, he's just freaking out. He, I, he doesn't know what he's doing. This one I'm very curious about. If I inject him with the puppeteer mutation, okay? And then if I inject him with this one, what will happen? I definitely heard that it, I heard it get injected. Will anything actually occur from that? <gasps> no. This, the sea urchin mutation. What if I do this one? The, the tree head one or the tree. Oh, it looks like that. It doesn't have, uh, it looks like that's like, it's final form. You can't actually do anything from that. This one that I'm about to do could seriously make my game get broken. Like ser seriously broken. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna freeze his legs. <laughs> Just because that'll be a good idea. Okay, here's one. And then here is the other. We are gonna make a multi, oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> it's ripping them apart. So I made a multi-armed vulture. And uh, oh my freaking goodness. I th I definitely think I broke things. This is what I, this is what I love about the mutation mod. <laughs> you just break the game. It's just a nice ordinary day here in this wonderful village. People on their way to work. Beautiful women what? sitting here working in their gardens. Little children admiring the petting zoo. But oh man, down the street some kind of terrifying monsters attacking. It's Boxy Boo from Project Playtime. He is destroying all of the townsfolk. No one is safe from his terrifying attacks. Oh no, he just straight up destroyed that whole car. Boxy Boo is the new monster from Project Playtime, but guess what? There are others. And today, Boxy Boo is going to be fighting off against other Project Playtime Boxy Boo nightmares to prove who is the strongest and best of them all. Listen, you can kill me, just don't kill my carrots. So this was like the first Boxy Boo this game saw, and man, oh man, the, the design of it is absolutely amazing. But guess what? There's actually a whole bunch of them, and we have to find out which one is the best. Comment in the comment section below what you think of Boxy Boo, and if you think there are going to be even more hidden nightmare monsters in the game. Look at this. I have a whole bunch of them, but which one is the best? Okay, here's the next one, and look at this. It's kind of got like a back rooms type of feel to it with the little metal bars going around. This one doesn't seem to be quite as equipped as the other one does. And he also doesn't really have like the whole Jack in the Box look going for him but maybe he'll actually be pretty terrifying he doesn't have claws in his hands instead he's got these little tiny like you know those little I don't know what you want to call them. Mechanical, spiky, tentacles, serpent type of things that just cause all kinds of uh, mayhem when things get close to him. He was able to take out this army with relative ease. At the end, we'll take all seven of them and fight them against one another and see who comes out victorious. Now, here's this one, which this one looks abs... I like the look of this one. He's got furry claws, which he has in the trailer. He's kind of furry looking. And then he has like a really awesome looking head that I think opens up, which is probably going to be better than the other one. This one, actually, I like, I like this one better than, than the other one, the first one. You guys, at the end, will you also comment and tell me which one looks the best, okay? Like the closest representation to what the trailer showed. His mouth does open slightly, which is a little bit better than the other one. He has the whole jack in the boxing. This thing spins! Ooh! <laughs> That's like a big improvement upon the first one for sure. Yo, the fact that this thing spins is really cool. That gives a whole new look. I think this one is the closer representation. Goodbye, polar bear. Meet your doom in the abyss below. What's down there, by the way? Hades, and it's reserved for polar bears. This one seems a little crazy looking, but here's the... Oh, look at that star. Here's the thing with this one. He's got these big, gigantic tentacles things and a huge fist so he might actually turn out to be the strongest maybe i don't know his head also is on one of those things does his mouth open no idea he doesn't look nearly as convincing as the other ones he's gonna attack this fort and destroy all these soldiers look at his head is it's definitely longer and kind of gives the whole feel of like the extendable thing coming up out of the jack-in-the-box a little bit more than the other ones do but it does doesn't look quite the same. He is definitely terrifying and attacking them quite well. What is he doing? Stop moonwalking and get to work. He's having a hard time going up this little tiny hill. You can't go up this little hill, man. Oh, you know what? Did we actually see it have legs in the in the trailer? I don't think we did. So that's an interesting question. Does it actually walk around? Okay, this next one is uh, a little rigid looking, if you know what I mean. He definitely has some big giant claws though. What the crap? These are the biggest claws I've ever seen. His little stumpy legs. He's got a big, I don't even know. This thing, this one is a little, 
Okay, maybe it'll win the battle, but it definitely ranks the lowest in terms of looks so far. Actually, no, that's not true. This one <laughs> ranks the lowest. Even though he's crazy looking, he doesn't really look too much like Boxy Boo at all. Here's a little army of almost naked babies. <laughs> little hill giant babies coming in here against this this Boxy Boo. So this one has got, this one's kind of interesting looking. He's He definitely has the look to it. But everything's kind of like accentuated like he's got gigantic feet Stubby little arms and stuff. He does have a crank, but the crank is ginormous and his head moves Which is cool, but it doesn't and it doesn't open. I think his mouth opens too. It does sweet So I think this one, you know, it's it'll be interesting to see who the overall winner turns out to be welcome to the simulation <laughs> we're in the matrix you guys in the loading room get your weapons and stuff oh because this one's hairy and his crank moves okay cool well the crank gets stuck on his arms but it's moving and he's hairy which is a good representation of the trailer so maybe you guys tell me which one looks the best or which one re is representative of the trailer the most i like this thing's mouth he's eating it better and he's got gigantic eyes i don't know which one i like more They're they're all so cool except for that one now we find out who is the best okay guys this is the original one this is number one okay so you tell me in the comments below one through seven which one you like the most for looks as well as which one you think will win this is number one this is number two the back rooms looking thing this is number three which is Got the crank that works pretty well, and he's hairy. So he, I don't know which one I like more, this one or the original one. This is number four, who's got the extendable thing kind of going for him. So he he's representative of that aspect. Number five, <laughs> the uh, blocky one. Number six, the hairy and you know the crank works number six it's got the top thing i mean this one's pretty good representation and then number seven which also has a crank that works this one hmm i don't know which one i like more this one might be my favorite one right here let's okay let's see who wins one through seven comment below i have no idea <laughs> this is like a bunch of clones oh no that blocky one went down instantaneously and if there's one that's just like super overpowered obviously we'll dq that thing uh what i don't know which did number one just die no no because i'm number one so uh, not, number one did not die yet number one i think is this one right here so that one went down oh no the big one might win the back rooms one. Okay, number one, it's still alive. Number one, I'm still alive. Oh, the hairy one's down. Number seven, I think. There he goes. This one's number one right here. This is number one. It's... Okay, the big one died. Sweet. It's the back rooms one versus number one. This is crazy. I did not expect this. I thought that big one was going to win with the, with the huge arms and face. I thought for sure that one would be victorious. It's actually kind of crazy that they're destroying... No! The back room one won. Oh no! I I didn't want no. Okay, and they lost health too. So okay, let's look at that. Let's look at the stats and see what they are. We got to find out. Okay, forty four hundred twenty thousand. That's not too bad. Back rooms one. Oh, it only has one hundred eighty six. Well, okay, pretty legit. One hundred eighty six. That one's got seventy. This one had 72 okay so that's not nearly the highest <laughs> this one's a baby ah it's got no stats uh 70 they're all 70,000 that's kind of interesting so the number one number one wait no is that number one that's not number one that's number that's number seven this is number one i don't remember which one's which which one moves that's how we can tell number one ha doesn't have a crank that moves this one i think is number one yeah this one doesn't move so this one right here I think this one's no this crank doesn't move either. I don't know. I like number one still. That's still my favorite. Hey Huggy Wuggy, welcome to the laboratory. We put you and all your friends to the test with the brand new mutations that have come to the game. What if you take mommy long legs and turn her into daddy long legs? And we're about to do something we haven't done yet because I was not aware that I can inject a metal with different types of liquid, which I'm going to because she's metal. But let's see if this will actually work. Oh, it does. <laughs> 
<laughs> Things just radically changed for us in this game. We got ourselves a true long leg. I want to say a quick thank you to Nanatter for giving me that tip because I was not aware of that fact. Now, there is something that bugs me about the Poppy Playtime mod, and that's that there's not an actual P PJ Pugapilla, just a head and a body. I thought I could take the centipede mod and actually turn him into one, but look at this. We can't actually do it, but now that we have that new information, <laughs> this could very well likely work. Let's take our liquid, fill our tank with it, get it all in there like that, then let's take it from here and do this. Please work! <gasps> Is anything happening? No? You you're not an are you not an actual like thing? Are you just like a like some kind of random object? You're not an actual robot? Okay, what about the body? If we do the body. Ah oh, no! It doesn't work! Oh, we got this metal bot, right? Again, the would the bot work? Let's try it. No, it doesn't work. What about this thing? Will it work on you? Ah, oh, it doesn't work on that thing either. It, it seems as though these things are unable to be modified. I do have Daisy though. Maybe it'll work on Daisy. Oh, it worked on Daisy. Oh, it is working on her. Yeah, there you go, Daisy. You like the liquid? And Oh, wow, and it even kind of tethers her to the ground so we can really have some fun experimentation. I kind of like this new way of doing things. Somebody said I need to double up on some mods, which I don't actually think is she a robot. She's actually not a robot. So we got the parasite mod, and then we also need the jellyfish mod because apparently they all eat people. And if we combine them together, I really want to know what's going to happen. She's not really becoming a jellyfish. Let's unfreeze her. Let her free. But let's get a person here and let's just see what happens. Couple of guys just hanging out, no big deal. Oh, look at those guys got sandals. You deserve to be eaten. Here she comes. Is she gonna grow bigger? She's actually not growing any bigger. She's just doing her flying centipede thing. Okay, well that's kind of Unfortunate. Oh, Kissy, you are metal. And I didn't get to do anything to you last time, so we're gonna do it now. Let's take this and go like that. So nothing's gonna happen. She is getting, uh, she's getting filled up with the juices, but nothing's occurring because we need to activate her first. Well, I don't know what's about to happen because it's metal, but if we activate her, what happens? Okay. Uh, that is really weird. <laughs> let's get a regular, normal, ordinary guy over here and let's see what happens. Will she eat him? Oh, she straight up ate him. And she grew more. She grew more heads. Will you. Do you always grow more heads? Look at she. I did no idea this mod did that. Okay, now that we know that. We need to take her to the next level. Now that she's a parasite, she needs to become a jellyfish, which is a great, you know, that makes total sense. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, we're getting some crazy results here. I gotta delete all this crap, we don't need it. Okay, here we go. Let's see, oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. That is, whoa. This might be the most things, even more than the last thing that we did. Put a guy in here. What happens? She's not actually acting like a jellyfish though. That's the thing. Oh, if she eats one person, if she eats one person, my game's gonna break. Essentially what's gonna happen is, what should happen, she eats this guy, then she's gonna sprout more leg things, arm things, tentacle things, and she's gonna just like freak out even more. Here he goes, he's being slowly twisted up and ready to consume. Uh, I tapped it. No, I can't. I need to see what happened. Oh, there. They're already growing. You see them? It's already happening. Yeah, okay. That's too much. too much. She ate him and we, we managed to pause it. Well, she's somewhere in this mess. <laughs> Can I activate her? Where is she? If I could find her. Maybe here. No, that's not gonna even work. I can't even do it. It's too much stuff on the screen. It's gonna lag me out. Look, it's like some kind of weird kissy missy monster. We need to make PJ Pugabiller, and I think we kind of can with Huggy Wuggy over here. Get your get your PJ Pugapiller on, man. There you go. Looking good, dude. Yeah, you got yourself a nice little serpent body there. Now, I've made this 
But have I ever actually combined that one with the actual serpent mutation? I don't know if I have. He should grow even longer. Is he growing legs too? Oh, he's definitely growing legs. <laughs> if it's lagging this bad, you know he's growing legs. Uh, I Maybe I've done this before, but I don't remember. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> I managed to pause it. Look at this mess. There he is, hiding out in there. I like this, but I like the ones that like have a reaction like when you do something they like explode and then a whole bunch of things happen you know which one we haven't done a lot with is the spike one so let's take the green huggy and let's see what kind of freaks of nature we can make with this thing so we got that we also haven't done anything with this promote cell division enable the mutation growth to continue after it stopped so i think maybe if i do it again will it he will he keep doing that I've never actually like it does i've never actually done that it's literally been in there this whole time okay let's uh we've got the tree make human girl let's try this okay let's try this one i'm gonna with that with that one in addition okay yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> getting pretty swole <laughs> he has a there's so many arms in there now you know the real question is we could make those limbs even longer, or we could add even more. <laughs> Should I do anything like that? I don't even know. I can't even, the game can't even function already. <laughs> it's, the, it's just the mess of arms. <laughs> okay. I want to get, I really want to, I want to do, I want to do things like give them long and give them more limbs, but like my computer, which is a beefy computer, can't even handle it. So I don't even know at this point what uh, what more I could do. I think what I want to do is try to make my favorite style of character. And it all starts with the mermaid. The mermaid one is pretty delightful and funny to see. Okay, So we got the mermaid action going on, which makes him kind of have a tail. And then let's make him a centaur from here. Because I think this will work. Poke him in the... What? He... There we go. Jeez. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, he's just dropping. First of all. Okay, that's what happens. He's just dropping legs forever. <laughs> I forgot. There is an extra head over here, which I don't know where that came from or why that's there, but it is. Mermaid Huggy and also this brand new. What the heck? It got stuck in his body. It's brand new mushroom mutation. Let's see what happens here. Should be interesting. Oh, also. Let's do the spike one. There they go. Okay. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Things are getting weird over here. Wow, they just keep coming. Okay. Okay. Well, we got him infected. He's definitely infecting everything. Oh, you know what I we did? Let me try. Let me try this one. Let me try something. I have an idea. I really want to have Huggy Wuggy. And I want to have him as a mermaid. Because <laughs> it's it just looks cool. Okay. Okay, well he's a mermaid. Alright. Now oh yep, yeah, there you go, stand up. Now let's make let's make the spike zombie have it. A spike the spike thing, the spike mutation. Will this let's see. Will this do multiple limbs out? Yeah, it does. Sweet you guys. This is this is kind of what I was what I was trying for. And we <laughs> It's just, it's just such a weird mod. They're coming out of his head. The arms are out of his head. Look at this is his, this is his mermaid body. <laughs> Poppy Playtime Chapter Three is here, and so is Catnap. And today we're gonna find out just how terrifying it is. I'm sure you've all seen Huggy Wuggy, but I guarantee you, you probably have never seen him quite like this. Oh. <laughs> This is Huggy Wuggy Final Phase 4. As you can see, he has been completely mutated beyond all recognition. And he literally can move. Oh my, he's like a giant snowplow of doom. He doesn't even use his face. You have a giant face full of teeth. Use your face, please. Don't, no, 
No, this is not how it should be. Just a bunch of weird random hands smacking everybody. You need to actually like ram. They should have put this thing on like the head of a vehicle or something. See something a little bit more aggressive might do it. Jump up in there. Jump up in there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he literally missed the, the entire thing. He missed all the dinosaurs. Surely this can't be missed. No, no, yeah, he got some. <laughs> oh, yeah. That brontosaurus got wrecked right in the face. Well, uh, final phase four, Huggy Wuggy is a little uncontrollable. Maybe we should look at some other poppy playtime stuff. Here is one poppy playtime creature that is probably the most terrifying out of all of them to me. And that's Killy Willy. Killy Willy is on a whole other level. And what the? Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at these fingers and everything. Oh, it's just brutally wrong on so many levels. He's just excited. He's jumping around trying to get into the action. Oh, his little gangly fingers are latching on to people and flinging them around and looking all weird. He's got eyeballs on his hands. His mouth, it doesn't eat anybody, but he sure as heck flings things with his hands. That's nice. Oh, 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 Goro's in, Goro's in. He's got the, like, the chest nab-nab looking thing. He did it first, right? They did it first in, in Poppy Playtime. Then nab-nab came along. Look at all. Killy Willy is only a little, you know, like a spider. Nab Nab's like a cross between Killy Willy and Mommy Longlegs, kind of. Not really, but you get it. Speaking of Mommy Longlegs, this might be like the derpiest one, but also looks really good. There's one that actually has really long legs and it's kind of crazy, but it doesn't really move that much. This one does move and uh, likes to attack defenseless uh, people, but man, oh man, look, she's got the whole big thorax booty thing going on over here. She, she can, she can move. Let me tell you. Look at her go. There she goes. With her nice little spiky fingers, picking people up to eat them. Do they actually eat them? I don't even know. They're just like doing it for fun. They're a bunch of psychopathic creatures. Then we have the classic duo themselves. Huggy Wuggy, oh yeah, and Kissy Missy. Look, she's a lot smaller. Does she actually, can you actually attack people? Do you have, do you have like, uh, she got spikes in her eyeballs, but does she have uh, anything that can take them out? Uh, obviously Huggy Wuggy does have some stuff and he's looking pretty crazy. So let's watch him as they both come in here and attack some hippos. <laughs> I don't know. I always like the hippos and it's just so ridiculous to watch that it makes total sense. And you know, they went to the zoo together and then the hippo started to attack them. And so they had to take it out on the hippos. First of all, no zoo in the world has this many hippos. <laughs> Secondly, with Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy, they were on a date. They didn't do that. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't go to a zoo, I'll tell you that much. They maybe go to a shopping mall for specific reasons. Giant pretzels. Kissy Missy likes giant pretzels. That's why. Don't, jeez, what were you thinking? I think what we'll do, too, at the end, is we, we need to see, you know, which one is the strongest. And so we gotta put the new catnap against all this stuff and see if catnap is able to run! Run! Ha <laughs> they stepped on him. Oh, that's just wrong. I was gonna say, I don't even know if this thing works, and then I saw it move. And uh, needless to say, it does. I'm a little concerned because it might fly off the map. PJ Pugapillar. <laughs> Look at him. Here we are. Go crazy looking. He's got a nice little body and everything. This is how he moves. He literally can fly. So there's that. But does he actually attack them? Oh, he's somehow destroying them. I don't know what's happening. Lag. I don't know how he's attacking them, but clearly, I mean, maybe he's just violently whipping his body back and forth, you know, doing the nay nay with <laughs> this PJ Pugapillar body. Oh, I don't know why I even said that. Well, when, how old is that thing? Ow. That's a long time ago. It probably shows, like, some of my age, maybe. Does it? I, I don't even know if you know how old I am. I think some people think I'm like a teenager, but I'm not. I'm older than that. PJ Pugapillar. Just destroyed everybody. I think probably my favorite Poppy Playtime creature is 
Boxy Boo. Boxy Boo, just because it, it's so cool. It's so cool. Look at it. Zoe and Nick. Look at Boxy Boo. About to eat everybody over here. Don't mess with him. He's dangerous. I know it's not, you know, I know it's obviously from the multiplayer game, but, you know, same same thing where it works. It's, it's in the universe. Oh, my. Dude, can they, are they actually pushing it back? Get in there, Boxy Boo. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be attacking it. Oh, dude. He just, he just ate that guy. Is he in his mouth still? Oh, I totally missed it. You need to get over there and eat somebody else, okay? Not that far. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get him. Get him all. Eat them all. Yeah. Yeah. Boxy Boo taking it to him. He, no, yeah, he totally got that guy. We saw it. He ate him. He ate him for breakfast. It was a little bit of maple syrup on it. You can't have Boxy Boo without Lunchbox. Burger Boo. Burger Boy Boo Boo. Burgerdy Boo. Burgerdy Boo over here is about to <laughs> take him all to lunch. Oh, yeah. Burger Boo. I like Burger, the Burger Boy. Lunchbox. He's pretty cool. He's, uh, you know, a hamburger. Who doesn't like hamburgers? Who? There are people who don't like hamburgers, which is, I guess people don't like cows, though. But it's just amazing to me. How can you not like hamburgers? A burger, some cheese, some mayonnaise, or barbecue sauce, bacon. Then, you, you know, then you pack it up in a lunchbox. First of all, who's taking a burger in a lunchbox to school? <laughs> who's doing that? Nobody does that. That's crazy. You don't take burgers to school with you? What are you, eating it cold? That's gross. Before we check out the regular catnap, we have the monster catnap. <laughs> this thing is a giant. It's like uh, it's like Jumbo Josh, but catnap form. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it, kind of, it looks like a cat, kind of. It's just a gigantic purple monster. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, he's got the little, you know, the little moon thing hanging from his chest and everything. And clearly able to just completely stomp everybody out. He's way too powerful. His arms are too long to actually move and attack. He just kind of slides them across the ground, eventually destroying people. Barely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Big old nice group of them getting flung across the map. Beautiful. Beautiful to see. Good job, monster catnap. I actually kind of like this. Thing. Here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for is catnap. Oh, man. This thing looks awesome. I like this thing a lot. I, the tail's kind of weird. But the face, look at that. face is perfect. And then the like the shoulders and everything. Man, oh, look at it. They've even got like ridge spines on the back going up. Man, the detail. The level of quality. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Oh my. Hey, somebody's on a whole other level over here. That's, that's a very fast moving cat, let me tell you. Oh, oh, it's getting bludgeoned. But it, it, there's no way. There's no way. Look at him throwing people. There's no way this thing can. This is going to win the, the battle royale. This is going to be the one that wins. Nothing's going to stand in its way. And speaking of Battle Royale, now is the time. I'm a little concerned about PJ Pugapillar, so I took him out. And instead of him, I put in the Boogie Bat. <laughs> Which I don't have any confidence in whatsoever. But let me know who you think's going to win it. Or who is your favorite. Okay, we got Catnap. Boxy Boo. Huggy Wuggy. Kissy Missy. Mama Long Lose and Burger Boo and then Boogie Bot. Obviously, I don't know. I don't think so. And look at Catnap is going right for Boogie Bot. It's all over, Boogie. Oh, there's a three. Oh, he instantly died. How does he instantly go down? He's not even strong enough to last two seconds. There goes a Burger Boy. Lunchbox is down, Catnap. Dude, Catnap's on a whole other level. Then over here, we got Boxy Boo, Kissy, and Huggy all fighting each other. Oh, it's not looking good for Boxy. They're teaming up on him. Although, Boxy is made of, like, nothing but metal. And Huggy and Kissy definitely have, like, fleshy parts. So, I don't know who's going to win. Oh, no. A level, le lover's quarrel. Uh, Kissy Missy goes down. What a sad day. Look at her lifeless body just over here. She's nothing but feathers now. Boxing Huggy. Catnap versus Mommy Longlegs. I don't know who's going to win. Uh-oh. Things have changed. 
Huggy went flying. Boxy's in the mix. Now it's a four-way battle. Now we'll see what happens. This is this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks like Catnap's fighting Huggy for the title of the the main thing. He's his hand is coming out of his mouth. What is even occur how is this even happening? What's even occurring? How does that hand Oh, Huggy goes down. Looks like we have a new main character in the ploppy plate ploppy ploppy plop your booty down ploppy <laughs> i said it again poppy playtime universe you gonna plop your butt down and watch this battle boxy boo goes down oh get your speaking of ploppy get your ploppy out of my face two long armed gangly creatures the only problem is mommy long legs is all metal what is he? What's he even? He's attacking the legs. Catnap knows the weakness. He's going for the legs. It's been a few minutes and the battle rages on. I, I don't want to even look at the health because I want to be absolutely surprised. I believe in Catnap. I believe Catnap will be victorious and the new ultimate creature in the Poppy Playtime universe. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It's been like 10. Oh, <gasps> no way. Well, I'm glad I started recording. Catnap! Ah! Catnap might be one of the creepiest things that we've seen in this game, but guess what? There's even scarier ones and ones that are even more cursed. And today, we find them all. So when you think of Catnap, he looks like a cat, right? Yeah, he does, but not every Catnap looks like a cat. Especially this one. What the heck is this? <laughs> I was going to say this one, but we might as well start with one of the most cursed looking ones you could possibly find. I don't know what on earth would make anyone think that this is catnap, but somebody thinks it is. And <laughs> I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a gag or if it's a real like unit that someone made and then said, yeah, that, yeah. That, that right here, this looks just like catnap. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a good episode, I think. Whoa, this one looks really cool. Look, it's got like fur all over it. And then his feet, look at his feet are like flat looking. Oh, this is creepy looking. I, I mean, definitely very catnapish. If that's a word. Oh, look at how it moves. Oh, that is freaking me out. Whoa, it is very fast and very violent. Wow. This is a good cat nap right here. Yeah, the red stuff coming out of its mouth. Oh, it's a little too gangly. Its arms are a little too long to actually, like, hit them. They don't bend that well. They just kind of fling around and smack me in the face. How does it fare against a bunch of T-Rexes? This has to, like... Not be so, dude. He has a flamethrower. Apparently, there's a flamethrower inside its mouth, and we didn't get to witness that last time. Oh my goodness! He just obliterated these things in like two seconds. What the heck, catnap? You scratching your butt? Oh yeah! If you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. Wait, this is the first catnap that we that literally was on arms when it like first came out and it's probably the best catnap it's very very well built very gangly very long it's a little rigid you know a little metal but i mean the face is perfect perfect in schlag and uh woo. <laughs> goodbye buddy see you see you next time he's that guy is gone so i mean clearly a very uh, violent creature capable and able to destroy everything very fast moving because his spiky claws are able to destroy people in a matter of seconds so it's a really good catnap look at him he even got like the little the uh, little leash moon thing okay not quite sure what's going on here but here's another cat nap i haven't started it yet because he was doing this which i think he's stuck in the ground let's start him yeah there he goes he popped up oh my gosh this cat nap's got laser beams in his mouth holes get rid of that there we go and pops on up he's got weird creepy legs he flies what exactly is happening with this one his big old long gangly arms uh, I just need to get a nice perspective zoom out a little bit. This is Okay, this is de <laughs> This is definitely cursed. So what I don't understand is when people make like units Why do they make them the way that they do? 
Why did you put this little ball thing on her hair? I mean, either cat- Oh, he's <gasps> catnap pregnant. This is a pregnant catnap that can fly. He's going to poop out baby soon. That's not how it happens. It's not really what occurs. But, I mean, for you adults, you know what's happening. For you kids, you probably- That is not what happens. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Look, it can't even- It doesn't even work. Just slapping his- They're just slapping his belly over and over again. I mean, occasionally a little claw might sink in or something, but this is like the worst unit in terms of fighting capabilities ever. And it, it's more like a bug than a cat. Like, look at this weird back tail thing. I got some cursed ones and I got some other awesome ones. This is the monster cat app, which I did we see this one last time. You might have seen this one. The very, I think this was the only other unit that was actually out until he made this gigantic monster cat app that's clearly capable of destroying hippos. Like, it's nothing. Just put him in a blender and eat, eat him up. Eat some hippo juices. Make a hippo smoothie. Why don't you? Sometimes I don't even know how the things come into my mind but they do and it's okay we we we're just gonna keep going with things i'm not losing my mind or anything i also realize its tail is coming out the middle of its back <laughs> it's not even like on his butt it's just like right up there right in the middle of his back like i don't know like a weird tumorous growth oh he's going over see ya well, piggy, piggy, piggies, you're about to meet your demise because we've got a different style of catnap and it's terrifying. What the heck is that? Look at this crazy thing. Uh, oh man, this is so cool. Look at that. Look at that mouth is perfect. Oh, this is just wrong on every level. Big old white silvery catnap of doom gonna eat himself some pigs look at how it moves well, i think what's creepy to me is not so much the design but just how they move sometimes because you know the game's ragdoll physics based and so things just get weird also we gotta put all these against each other at the end of the video i don't know if i said that but we gotta find out which catnap's the best catnap okay shield your eyes you're in for a treat we got the most cursed catnap and you can possibly find. Oh, let me just kind of go like this. All right, here. Oh, I'm underneath them. Okay, let's start in the back, shall we? Oh yeah, it was looking good already, right? <laughs> oh no! Look at that! Oh, what in the world? I can you even call this a cat? Oh, look at how it moves! Oh, what the heck? Why is it doing that? Oh, look at that face! Look at half of his, yo, know, half of his face. He died instantly. That's that makes total sense, dude. Look at half of his face isn't attached. His one ear is attached to the back of his body. Watch. <laughs> look at that back. Look at that part moving. Oh no, that is perfect in every way. I'm hoping that I saved the best for last. This one is Nightmare Catnap, and it is on a whole other level. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, it's so cool looking, and watch how it moves, you ready? Oh yeah, look at it moving. Oh, what the heck, my ear hole is burning. It's my, I can't hear out of my left ear anymore. I, I keep one off just for this purpose in case if uh, I go deaf playing one game, you know because of a game Only one ear goes out not all of them. It is uh, Look at how it's moving. It's kind of weird Why does it have hold on a second? Why does it have these things on the side? What is this for stabilization like let me get rid of all this I can't even see there we go Now move you move now But the heck it moves just fine I mean what was that? What was that noise? Me, like music just played or something. The heck? Oh my. Look at all those flamethrowers. You do not need those. We don't need those. I'm gonna get rid of these little light balls in here. We don't need, we don't need any light balls either. Oh, we just need a plain old ordinary nightmare catnap. Oh. Oh. Look at it moving. That's brutal, gross looking. I mean, the other one's kind of cooler because it has more of like a, you know, the, the weird face and stuff, but I guess this is pretty cool. Wow, that's weird. Okay, well, let's put them all against each other and find out which one is the best one. So here's a gamble to try to figure out which one's gonna be the best one. But I think for this, I'm gonna say that the first one is gonna be the best one. 
Okay, we're gonna put in this. Oh gosh, no, the cursed one is so wrong. That thing, this thing is so wrong. Why, why would anyone say that's catnap? That's so crazy. Uh, okay, we got a, I saved the one catnap. Where is he? I saved the one catnap in here so we could easily find him. There it is. It got weird on it. There, okay, you're in here. Okay, we got that one now. We might have to choose. Okay, we're gonna definitely put this one in. We gotta find out which of these two is the best. I'm gonna put him over here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we gotta get dirt. No, we can't have the the dirt boy. It's not gonna work. The dirt boy, the dirt catnap's gonna instantly die. Do I have another one I could use? I don't even know. Yeah, no, this one, the monster catnap. Perfect. Seven. Can't use the dirt one. It's gonna die. It breaks too easily. Here we go. Oh, wait, we got a laser. I gotta get rid of the laser. Yeah, now it should work. Guys, comment below which one you think is gonna win. I really hope it's not this thing. <laughs> I really... Whoa, that catnap came out of nowhere. I, yeah, I really hope it's not the weird one. I hope it's either the furry catnap or this original catnap or the white one. I I don't know who's gonna win. Does somebody have a flamethrower? I just hear a flamethrower? What the heck? There goes the, the... Oh, that one's flying? You better come back down. Can't be you can't be flying around. Yo, what the heck? Oh yeah, this cat have lost its legs. I'm like, wait, what's going on for a second? Cause it's that metal based body thing, and the legs can pop off. The spider version. Wow, I expected someone to be dead already, and no one's dead yet. Oh no, we have a problem. This uh, this furry cat has got a flamethrower in his face. Oh, there we go. The first one to actually go down was the one with the flamethrower. I I uh swapped it out, and now it's dead. So that's interesting. Who's gonna, who's going next? This thing's starting to lose legs again. It's getting all weird and wonky. Looks like we got the first and the big white one against each other. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to figure out a thumbnail for this video. Oh, <gasps> there it is. That one just popped, the white one. Oh, okay, interesting. Here comes, look at him, look at him move. He's crazy. He's out for vengeance. Dude, that freaking weird one better not win. That's all I gotta say. That freaking weird one wins, I'm gonna lose it. These two are fighting over here. I don't know what's gonna happen here. The flying one's probably gonna win because it's flying. Oh, oh no! The f the main one lost. No! We have a disqualification. This one has nine, 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 nine stats. You are not allowed to be. Can't, we can't have that. We gotta redo it. Or we're back to the point where my my thought one died. That oh that one's done. Okay. I don't like that these are the options. <laughs> At least we do have one of the, uh, the we have the free guy. Dude, who's got a flamethrower? You still have a flamethrower in your face? I think it does. Okay, whatever. I think we're beyond that. I kind of want to just see who's got the most health and call it because this is getting really weird. Okay, he's almost dead. This one's got a little bit of life. Oh, this one's almost dead. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see here. Wh okay, one and uh, HP multiplier 1789, 536. Five million, five million, okay. Whoa, this thing's got tons of health. Okay, that's gonna have two million, okay. 2.4 million, okay, so that one's probably gonna die to the mega one. So the mega, the mega catnap is probably gonna win. That's fine by me. <laughs> as long as it's not this stupid derpy one. Oh my gosh. I don't even know why I included it. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Mega Catnap is going to be the winner. I hope you enjoyed watching. Catnap is weird and uh, so are these things. Okay, bye.